Hi everyone, it's the English Summer here. Welcome to part 85. <laughs> I love how I was like, I'm not gonna be doing like really long Let's Plays anymore. I feel like I've moved on from that chapter and yet here I am on my Nightmare Legacy Challenge on part 85. But I think this is potentially the last part where we're fully focusing on generation six we obviously gave birth in the last part we are moving on to generation seven i for one am very very excited about it but we still need to finish one of our aspirations and i'm fairly sure i have the perfect way of going about this as you all know we have maximum occupancy this isn't being effective right now we also have no ghosts however we have the haunted lot trait so ghosts have been coming they've been like roaming around but we still haven't broken it although I will say I wanted to get to a five star on our place and we got there we've got desirable amenities we have decent environment decor don't get me wrong I definitely still like want to do this up as we continue and then we also have amazing maintenance it's cleaned it's repaired we are thriving so even though I couldn't get my vets to a level five we did manage to get this to a level five and you know what I'm taking it but let's focus on the no ghost rule currently interacting with ghost gran grant has just taken a big fat dump on our porch I love how he came back from the dead and was like this is still my property and you know what grant it is we're gonna invite him to our household I want to see if adding grant to our family will actually break the tenancy agreement get back here grant you better not go back into your do not do it sir where is he where did he run off to he's outside we need to invite him to our household please grant these animals i swear they have it out for me they are to really just keep on punching me in the neck anytime i try to like interact with them or try and actually do something they'll just like cancel out of it they're such little divas right it's very very cute that you want to like beg and hug us and stuff i am trying to be a beg i would like you to join my household oh it worked it worked so it did actually say that we couldn't have a ghost living on our lot tenant rule violation the undead are not welcome in the singleton household oh we barely have a thousand simoleons and we have a child to the property owner or you may face more serious consequences but we completed our aspiration. So like, who's the real winner here? I could not be more thankful for the fact that we don't have to focus on the sixth generation any longer. And I'm fairly sure Cornelius is gonna age up today. It's just giving me watch my chops. Wasn't, was it, who was called Cornelius? Was it the dog in watch my chops? It's just giving me that whenever I think about it. I wonder if we could try and like talk Talk to him to get him we can give our notice in writing <gasps> how do we pay the fine i don't actually know how we go about that i want to do this call property owner to visit and switch i want to know what the switch is my game keeps doing this it keeps like freezing i don't have any idea why it's doing it but it scares me every single time it'll freeze for like a good 30 seconds and then it'll just like fix itself whoa Oh, the property owner is arriving okay i guess we will uh, talk to you oh no uh, we're having a panic because of him arriving we're gonna invite him in what if he evicts us is this how we pay i swear i want to cough up i also maybe want you to try and change them even if he doesn't change them we can go into his household i Eviction avoided. Was caught violating the tenant agreement. This time is only a warning, but they might not be so lucky next time a rule is broken or rent is overdue. Reach out to your property owner and choose to pay fine for any broken rules or overdue rent. Negotiate rule change and pay a uh, fine. Rule broken. Do not pass go. Collect a thousand fine. Right, I guess we will pay you and then we'll try and get it changed. Pay fine for no ghost. It's just a cat, bro. It's not even another. 
away. He's like, it's okay. You can leave. You can get out of here. I can't believe we only have 445 simoleons. I'm fairly sure. There we go. Negotiate rule forgiveness and hope that he takes off. Because now that we've broken it, I don't want to like continuously break it. Whoa, what rules? And Mozo's silver tongue got his rental rules changed. The power of persuasion when you're neighborly. You know what? We have been a great tenant. That would have been, to be fair, it is a little bit silly for him to agree to change that because... We could have, you first take a thousand simoleons off me, then you change my rule, and then you flirt with my wife right in front of my eyes. I know what free love is on, but geez Louise, I kind of want to. I think it's, it's no, oh my God, it is still on. Petition for repeal. I want to get rid of free love. I want it out of here. We need to keep an eye on who actually agrees and disagrees because it literally doesn't tell you in the game. There's like no uh, follow up to it whatsoever. So I need to make sure that their names are on a list. Juniper's like, yeah, you know what? I am a little bit sick of our landlord just like hitting on me 24 seven. So you can definitely get rid of free love. <gasps> I love how it tells me that tail hatching is beginning every single time and it's just not. It just honestly it catfishes me. <gasps> he disagreed to me. He said, nah, I want to continue flirting with everybody. Thank you very much. Right, we need to get out and about and find some other people. Are you sick of people hitting on you? Do I have the perfect thing for you? You know what? We haven't like visited the tiger sanctuary. I wish you could do this as a group. I think it would be so cute for like a little birthday party we uh, take little cornelius to uh, visit the tigers not guy having more influence than i ever could guy i don't want to talk to you guy leave me alone a third signature he's back again he absolutely cannot get enough of us he's like please don't get rid of free love you can't do this to me i am a feminist all of these women are like yeah get this nap away from me we've got bills to pay they're multiplying and we don't have enough money how am i meant to come into like what 300 simoleons over i'm fairly sure they probably haven't fixed the glitch where we can transfer and we literally have like 300 in our vets right now. That's not that much. Confirm transfer. Yeah, no, it just does not work. Why did I waste all my money on this damn nursery? You know what we uh, could do? This is really, really bad. But we uh, have a child. We could potentially throw a baby shower, like basically for his birthday. Age him up at the baby shower so that he's like an infant. And then we could sell uh, the things that we get. Because we can't even like buy like a toddler toilet and stuff like that and we definitely need stuff like that <gasps> perfect idea not me using my child you know what he's got the name like cornelius so that seems like a him problem if he didn't want to be a capitalist then he shouldn't have randomized his name to be uh, cornelius right we need a social what am i doing get over here chatty mccarthy it was because we had to pay the fine <laughs> Why did I choose to do that this part? Baby shower is 250 simoleons. Hopefully uh, we get more money for that. We are the expecting parents. Guess new baby's future career. Gush about new baby. We're gonna guess their career. In the army? We Sorry, we can't do that. We've already been in the army. We're not allowed to repeat jobs actually in this family. It's a family rule. Imagine that being a family rule. I forbid you to go into the area of work that your great 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 grandma was in. This party is dead. Barely anyone's interacting with each other. I don't know what's going on. What a wonderful idea. I would be so proud. Oh, I don't even know what we said was going to be the career. I wish instead of that, it would like actually give an idea of what you said about the career. Um, We should, can we take photos of the baby? Why is that not a thing that you could do? She said maybe a lot Lord. Oh my god, does Trayvon know? Trayvon can literally see the future. Oh, I 
I mean, I guess we could just like take a photo instead of like taking a photo specifically of say cheese. I may as well just do that three times over because I'm fairly sure that will tick off. Oh, heck yeah, it did. <gasps> we got our present, our first present. I hope, honestly, that was a toddler potty. I'm so annoyed that that's like the only one that we've had so far. You're not allowed to dance. Why is there not like a music channel? Where is MTV when you need it? That should so be a thing. Also, we have so many channels because I upgraded the PC, I'm fairly sure. Does anyone want to give me any more presents? Not that I'm out here begging, but like I would like to see it. Venetia's like, what about a spaceman? No, sorry, uh, our founder was an astronaut. We're not allowed to do that. He's like, well, they apparently do like photography. <laughs> He's a child. Oh, we need to age him up whilst everybody's here. Another present, absolute legend. Thanks, Melody, love you. Ooh, a calm infant. These sims like to watch the world, are less likely to cry or become angry. Float down, my little child. Aw, he's got his mum's hair. Actually, he looks so much like his mom. Not him with the bear claws. He said raw. You gave me a jungle theme? Why, yes. Why does Olive look like she should be at a 1930s funeral? <laughs> Not even that, a Victorian funeral. <gasps> Free love was repealed. Heck yes. And Raphael said, that is my cue to actually leave. The fact that I can't flirt with you anymore i'm gonna go there's mold luckily it's in our bedroom but can you go clean oh we got the first visitors milestone oh it's because all the cats and like animals are vomiting which counts as liquid quite cute that he's got like proper blonde hair why is he like that why is he floating <laughs> she just levitated him across the room but yeah he kind of looks like our siblings that's really cool to see be scared ghostly meows the haunting otherworldly vocalizations of a nearby phantasmal pet is as unnerving as it sounds <laughs> he's just our family pet what do you mean you're gonna be besties with grant in no time this child is about to be scarred for life and asked a mutual friend that's sweet but no thank you oh okay well thanks for humoring me i had to give it a shot my name is chow if you ever change your mind he's a stay-at-home dad he's a veterinarian <gasps> the cheek shake rattle and roll a special baby gift can be found in your household inventory <gasps> we did get a toddler potty okay that is great oh my god we have a geode that actually might be able to help with our problems we can get rid of this bassinet that's 150 simoleons i will take it definitely don't need these so we'll sell them decorative collectible plate don't know where we got that from but yeah i'm gonna sell that 20 simoleons i mean i'll take it should i get rid of the rattles i feel kind of harsh doing it not gonna lie it worked my plan prevailed we can pay our bills we can pay our rent we're not gonna get kicked out of the building i'm not gonna get kicked out but you're all getting kicked out off you pop i was gonna say we need to get him like a baby changing table i actually hate the baby changing tables i do not think they are good we do need to try and feed our child this is when i wish that the feckin handiness table the woodworking table was actually up because imagine if you could just like create your own furniture you could like build your own little high chair for your toddlers or like toys for them i feel like we should get a high chair but we have 12 simoleons to our name i fear we're gonna need to get a job i don't think we can go on like this especially with the vets being glitched money wise oh my god there's so much pet hair around <laughs> it's all too much we could even potentially get just like part-time jobs you know so like one could work early in the morning and then one could work in the evening i know they're not gonna make us that much money but at least we'd be able to like actually have some mullions behind us <gasps> 
Oh, I feel like he would be good as a handy person. And I think she'd be good. Maybe we'll go for babysitter for her. 7 till 1 p.m. Those are such long hours. I'm gonna make her a fisher person for sure. She loves fishing. 5 till 9 a.m. Hell yeah. She's she's well down for that. And then Air Mozo, I'm gonna get you a career as well. This is so bad. <laughs> Oh, they're cuddling. Oh no, stop it. That's really cute. I didn't make them do that. I just made her like go to sleep, but she instead decided to cuddle him. Oh, uh, they are absolute goals. I am obsessed with them, your honor. <gasps> That was so uh, sweet. Wait, are you both feeling, you can go back to sleep, girl. Maybe I did choose cuddle in bed by accident. I just wanted your man to find a career and also probably feed our child. Yeah, this is really bad that he owns a vet, but literally can barely work there. So let's be a handy person. We're gonna do three till 6 p.m. So they're not overlapping. No, I don't wanna jumpstart my career at 12 a.m., thanks. Oh my God, I'm just trying to look after my child. Go and bottle feed him. We've got trash overload. We can't afford the trash removal, so we're gonna have to do it ourselves. Don't worry, he's a handy person. He's got this. Oh my god, please feed him. Grant's having a fight. Oh uh, my god. He's getting thrown around. Thank goodness he's already a ghost cat because I don't think he would survive this fight with Grammy. What the heck is my child growing up with? Like, what is actually happening? This family is falling apart at the seams. This is wild, but I think I'm gonna wrap up this part here. Yeah, she's crappy because you've both had to get jobs because you couldn't figure out your vet career. I like how I'm blaming him. Honestly, this is me just speaking like through my emotions with him. I'm mad at myself, okay? But I'm gonna wrap up here. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Honestly, by the next time you see him, he's probably gonna be a kid. I really just want to get focused on the next generation now, but we obviously have little Cornelius. He is going through his formative years in a way that I only expect is gonna affect him further on in life, which I personally am quite excited for. I gotta say, I definitely feel the storytelling coming back to me for the next generation. So thank you all so much for hanging out and I will speak to you all in my next one. Also, once again, I accidentally deleted the baby name wheel. So if you have any name suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. I appreciate you always and I'll speak to you all in my next one. Bye now.